What's good y'all, it's Lushi back with another video So I'm just gonna make a sample from scratch today Wish me good luck So maybe I go to, I'm gonna go to Omnisphere And I'm gonna go to the Unclean Machine And check out the belts in that expansion pack So I'm going here So Unclean Machine I'm going to the belts and vibes I'm gonna click right here on this one And I'm gonna go Ambient And yeah, that's pretty much it I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna shuffle And check out different presets I like that. Uh, I'm gonna make a C minor chord. Alt B to highlight the go uh, the like scale. All right. So step one, I'm just gonna make a regular triad chord. Uh, step two, I'm gonna adjust the velocity, just briefly. I'm just gonna check out these ones. Uh, I like this one actually. With the delay, bro. Yeah. Um, inverted. Yo, this preset is crazy, bro. The more notes you add, the more like it bounces around. I'm gonna add something here. I already know where I want the, the automation or the effects to be like applied, but I don't know which effect I want. So I'm going to start off uh, by creating the, the automation clip this time. And then I'm going to find a preset that sounds nice. Something like this. Copy that. Paste that. What is this? Omnisphere? What the frick, bro? Now we cut it up right here and duplicate this over. Well, they sound different every time, so I'm just gonna uh, open up Edison and record this for a couple loops, like maybe three or four loops, and uh, then I'm just gonna pick the section that sounds the best. I actually like the last one a lot, so I'm just gonna uh, mute the other ones, solo this one, chop it up like this, so I'm j the last one, delete the last part and duplicate the this one. So I think I'm gonna keep it like this. I like that. Let's try to pitch it up or down. Maybe down. I like C sharp minus. Stick with that. Now we got our first sound, our first melody down. I'm going to route this to Mixer Channel 2. Yes, I like this. Uh, this far, I'm going to re, uh, re add the pattern down here and mute the original MIDI. I want to add a flute to this actually, so I'm going to go in here to the patch browser and I'm going to go to ethnic and I'm going to go to flutes and winds somewhere here and I'm going to choose this one probably. Yeah, so I'm going to try to freestyle the MIDI of the simple flutes melody to this on the MIDI right here. I might just do like something really simple uh, with just one or two notes and find a nice uh, and find a nice rhythm with it, and then I might just uh, move it around in the piano roll.
something like that like it, it sounds like shit now obviously but i'm gonna like uh, try to fix it up Alright, so that's a little cool flute pattern. Oh, this is uh, uh, going in the like, I don't know direction, but I feel like adding some ethnic instruments to this. So I think I'm going with like a koto. Koto, I don't even know how to, how to say it, but uh, the fucking uh, Japanese thing. Uh, that sounds like a, a scary movie and shit. Where is it, bro? I'm gonna add a koto. Hey, we're going real ethnic today, bro. We're going ethnic today. So you gotta like adjust it down here on the red keys. Let's make some weird counter melodies in between the flute. I'm gonna turn the pitch down a little bit more because the flute is getting kind of loud. Let's go down two more and pitch down the flute too. So I'm gonna render out uh, both the flute and the koto uh, one by one. Let's put this to five and then this one to six. I'm gonna add a decapitator to make it look a bit more punchy. I'm gonna go, go to the guitar, beefy. Now I just wanna add one section without the flute. Alright man, so that's pretty much it for the video. Hope you enjoyed the cook-up. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video.